And yeah, maybe even the guys thinking about trying it out themselves. It's super important to be upfront. So let's just say right now we do have some affiliate links down in the description for the bathmate. But our goal here isn't to sell you on anything. We want to cut through all the marketing hype and give you the straight facts, what this thing can do, what it can't do. And just to be totally transparent with you, I'll admit I was curious enough to try the bathmate myself. And let me tell you, there were some surprises along the way. Uh, that's what makes a deep dive so interesting, right? You never know what you're going to find. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's start with the claims that caught your eye. The Bathmate website uses some pretty strong words, like guaranteed results, real gains, and even non-surgical penis enlargement. Yeah, phrases like that definitely grab your attention. Yeah. But like with anything that promises the world, you have to sort out the hype from the truth. And that's where a deep dive comes in. Exactly. We have to look at those marketing claims alongside what actual users are saying. Several YouTubers in your sources like VD Peak Male Physique and Alpha have shared their whole bathmate journey online. They actually do say they've seen increases in size, but they're also clear that this isn't some overnight miracle. You got to use it consistently. They also point out that some of those gains can be temporary, especially something they called the pump effect. This is something that comes up a lot. All About Bathmate, for instance, describes it as a pretty big but short increase in size after you use the device. So maybe not a forever solution, but hey, potentially helpful in certain situations, if you know what I mean. That's an important difference to remember. It's easy to get caught up in those quick results, but we have to consider the long game as well. So before we get into the nitty gritty of those long term effects, let's take a step back and answer the basic question. How does this thing even work? What's the science behind the Bathmate? It's not magic, but there is some physics involved. The bath mate creates a vacuum using water pressure. And what that does is draw blood into the penis, which might stretch the tissue over time. One of your sources, BD Peak Male Physique, goes into this idea of tunica malleability, which is basically how the tissue around the penis can adjust and become more flexible if you stretch it regularly. Okay, so it's not just about blowing it up like a balloon. There's actual physical change happening. That's pretty cool. Exactly. And that's where the potential for long-term results comes in. But hold on, before anyone gets too excited, we got to talk about safety. You don't want to just jump into this without understanding the risks. Right, because when you're dealing with, well, sensitive areas, safety has to be the number one priority. Absolutely. Yeah. Both Alpha and Bathmate, Hydroxtream and Hydromax Review warn about potential injuries if you use the Bathmate the wrong way. Pumping too much or using it too long can cause problems. So start slow. Pay attention to how your body feels, and if you feel any pain, stop right away. Good advice. It's Look. always better to be safe than sorry, especially when it comes to, you know. You got it. And on that note, we should remember that the bathmate is just one tool in the kit, so to speak. Your sources mention other penis enlargement techniques like jelking, stretching, and even other devices like the phallus and forte. Some guys say combining methods might get you better results. So you're saying there's not just one way to do it. There are options and different things to try. Sorry, right. And even within the bathmate line itself, you've got choices, the Hydra, the Hydramax, and the Hydra Extreme. Each one has its own features and pressure levels. Bathmate, Hydroxtreme, and Hydramax Review does a good job explaining the differences, but it can be a lot to take in with all the choices. And that's where we come in, right? To help break down all that information and figure out what really matters. Precisely. And one thing that stands out on all the sources is how important real user experiences are. It's one thing to read what the marketing says, but it's something else to hear from guys who've actually used the bathmate and can give you the honest truth, good and bad. Totally. Because let's be honest, those personal stories can be super insightful, sometimes even more than the technical stuff. So let's dig into some of those real world experiences. It's interesting that even with a product like this, there are some common things that come up. For example, a lot of reviewers mentioned that the comfort pad can be a little tricky. It might take some adjusting to get it in the right spot for a good seal. And Bathmate, Hydroxtream, and Hydromax Review even has a story about a guy who got an infection because he didn't clean the device properly. It's a serious reminder that being clean is super important with any product like this. You're absolutely right. Using a cleaner made for sex toys and making sure the Bathmate is totally dry after each use are essential steps you can't skip. Okay, so we've gone over the marketing claims, the science behind the bath mate, the importance of safety, and even some real-world user stories. Mm. But the question everyone wants answered is, does it actually work? Is the bath mate worth it? 
That's the big question, isn't it? And the truth is there's no simple answer. The results can be really different for each person. Things like your body type, how often you use it, and even your genes can all make a difference. So it's not a surefire way to, you know, enhance things down there. Not exactly. While the bath mate can be a helpful tool, it's really important to be realistic and know that it's not some magic solution. This has been a seriously interesting deep dive so far. We've uncovered a ton of info about the bath mate from the technical side to personal experiences, but we're not done yet. There's more to explore as we try to understand this intriguing device. We'll be back after a quick break to go even deeper into the world of the Bathmate Hydromax. Welcome back to the deep dive. Before the break, we were just getting into whether the Bathmate is worth it. It's a tough question because worth it. Well, that depends on the person. It depends on what you're trying to get out of it and what you're willing to put in. You got that right. Yeah. And something our source is really stressed is that the bathmate isn't just some magic trick. You don't just wave it and boom, instant results. Yeah. It takes commitment, kind of like any fitness routine. Exactly. A lot of the reviewers, even on the bathmate website itself, talk about how important it is to use it the right way. It's not as easy as just putting it on and pumping. There's a technique to it. You got to gradually increase the pressure and most importantly, be consistent with your routine. It's like if you're trying to build muscle. Yeah. You wouldn't expect to go to the gym once you lift your absolute max and then walk out with ripped pecs, would you? It's something you got to work at over time, slowly increasing the weight and intensity. Exactly. Alpham even talks about starting slow and paying attention to your body signals. Don't push yourself too hard, especially when you're first starting out. It's a process. And like any process, you got to be patient. And talking about process, beer. BD, peak male physique, actually documented how he changed his bathmate routine over time. He tried different pressures, different amounts of time, even added in other stuff like jelking. It's a good reminder that there's no one right way to use it. You got to find what works for you. That's a super important point. It shows why looking at these user experiences is so helpful. It's easy to get lost in all the fancy marketing talk or even the science. But hearing how real guys have used the product and what they've learned along the way, that can be really valuable. For sure. One thing that really stuck with me was a user from All About Bathmate. He talked about getting kind of obsessed with that temporary enlargement, the Bathmate pump. He was so focused on that quick boost that he kind of forgot about the potential for long-term gains from using it consistently. That's a trap a lot of us fall into, right? We want things right away. But real lasting change takes time and effort. It's easy to forget that when you're being bombarded with promises of fast results. So let's switch gears for a sec and talk about those long-term benefits. What are some of the more permanent changes that users have reported? Besides that temporary pump effect, a lot of guys, including BD Peak Male Physique, have said they get stronger erections. This is where that tunica malleability thing we talked about earlier comes in. As that tissue gets more flexible, it can handle more blood flow, which could lead to firmer erections. That makes a lot of sense. And Alpham even mentioned feeling more confident in the bedroom after using the bathmate. He said he felt less self-conscious and more assertive. Confidence is a big deal, and it can really impact every part of our lives, including our sex lives. And let's not forget just the fact that you're taking charge of your sexual health and trying different things can be empowering in itself, no matter what the specific results are. Totally. We've talked a lot about the good stuff, but let's be real. Are there any downsides to using the bathmate? Anything risky or things people should watch out for? Of course. Like with anything, there are potential drawbacks. Mm -hmm. One of the most common complaints is discomfort from the comfort pad. Some guys have trouble getting a good seal or they experience some chafing. Yeah. Bathmate Hydrox Dream and Hydromax Review mentioned that the comfort pad can be a little bit finicky. It might take some experimenting to find the right spot for it. And then there's the cost. The Bathmate isn't exactly cheap, especially the fancier models. It's an investment, so you got to think about whether it fits your budget. And don't forget about the time commitment. To get the most out of the bath bait, you have to use it regularly, which means setting aside time for those sessions. All good points. It's definitely not something to decide on a whim. It takes some serious thought about the potential benefits, the risks, and your own personal situation. Okay, so it's not a perfect solution. But even with those potential downsides, it seems like a lot of men are finding the bath mate to be a helpful tool. Definitely. It's all about weighing the good and the bad, knowing what you're committing to, and ultimately deciding if it lines up with your goals and priorities. Speaking of goals, let's tackle a question that popped up a lot in the user comments, permanence. Are the results you get from the bath made permanent? Ugh, the age old search for lasting results. 
From what we see in the sources, including personal stories from Alpha M and BD Peak Male Physique, the answer seems to be, well, it's complicated. Like a lot of things in life. So not a simple yes or no. Not really. Some guys say they keep some of their gains even after they stop using the bath mate all the time. But most of them admit that to keep the full effects going, you usually have to keep using it. It's kind of like going to the gym. You can't expect to work out for a few months, get in shape, and then stay that way forever without putting in any more effort. To keep those results, you got to keep at it. Exactly. Just like with fitness, consistency is key, and holding on to the changes you've made usually means continuing the work. Since we're talking about putting in work, let's go back to that idea of combining different techniques. Several of our sources, like BD Peak Male Physique, mentioned using other methods like jelking or stretching along with the bath mate. What's the benefit of doing that? The thinking is that by working on the penile tissue in different ways, you might get better overall results. Jelking, for example, is all about manual stretching, while the bath mate uses that vacuum pressure. It's like cross-training for your well, you know. Right. You're hitting different muscle groups, so to speak, which could lead to more well-rounded development. Exactly. And some guys believe that mixing things up can help you break through plateaus. If you get to a point where the bath mate alone isn't doing much anymore, adding in another technique might help you push past that. Makes sense. It's all about figuring out what works best for you and your body. And that's where trying things out for yourself comes in. There's no one-size-fits-all solution, so you often got to experiment with different techniques, tweak your routine, and listen to what your body's telling you. This deep dive has been quite a ride. We've learned about the science behind the bath mate, why it's important to use it correctly and safely, and even explored some other techniques. But wait, there's more. Stick around. We'll be right back to wrap up this fascinating look at the Bathmate Hydromax. All right, we are back for the last part of our deep dive on the Bathmate Hydromax. We've covered a lot, but there are a few more interesting things to talk about before we finish up. One thing I find really interesting is the mental side of all this. It's clear from the reviews that the Bathmate isn't just about physical changes. It's also about feeling more confident and better about yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. Feeling good about yourself can affect everything in your life, even your sex life. Alpha is really open about how the bathmate helped him get over years of feeling insecure about his size. He says he feels more confident in the bedroom and even noticed a change in his overall attitude. And BD Peak Male Physique mentions that just taking control of his sexual health and trying different things made him feel more empowered. It's a good reminder that sometimes it's not just about the end result, it's about the journey too. Absolutely. Speaking of journeys, let's go back to that idea of tunica malleability. It's not just about stretching the tissue, it's about maybe even changing how it works over time. So if you use the bath mate consistently, yeah. it could actually make the tissue around your penis more flexible and adaptable. That's the idea. BD Peak Male Physique explains it as a slow process like stretching any other part of your body. If you keep at it, you can increase how much the tissue can expand and maybe even get longer lasting results. So it's like taking your penis to yoga class. That's a good way to put it. And it shows why being patient and not giving up are so important with a product like this. All About Bathmate says it well. Male enhancement is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making a commitment to yourself and your well-being, not looking for a quick fix. Now, before we wrap things up, we have to talk about something that's kind of uncomfortable, the possibility of being disappointed. Not everyone who uses the bathmate is going to get the results they want. True. We got to be realistic about what any product or technique can actually do. A few of the users in our sources, even some who left reviews on the Bathmate website, said they were frustrated because progress was slow or some of the gains went away. It's important to go into this with a level head and realize that results can be different for everyone. So while the Bathmate can work well for some guys, it's not a guaranteed success. Exactly. It's all about figuring out what works best for you. And that might mean trying different things, having patience, and maybe even trying other options along with the Bathmate. Well, I think we've done a pretty good job of breaking down the Bathmate Hydromax. We looked at the marketing claims, the science behind it, what users have experienced, and even the possible downsides. We talked about why it's important to have realistic expectations, use it correctly, and be safe. We also looked at the potential for both short-term and long-term results and even mentioned other techniques out there. And in the end, the decision of whether or not to try the bathmate is up to you. We've given you the information and insights you need to make a smart choice. So as we finish up this deep dive, we'll leave you with this story. What stood out to you most about the bathmate? What questions do you still have? And most importantly, how are you going to use what you've learned on your own journey of exploring and figuring yourself out?
Thanks for joining us on this sometimes surprising, always interesting deep dive into the world of the Bathmate Hydromax. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.